HL scale model railroaders. Well, <laughs> okay. You're probably wondering why I didn't upload my model train video due to the fact. This is the Polaroid Cube, and I use this to film my model train videos. When I was doing that, all that freaking time, um, when I was filming the little Joe, except the red light was blinking. So when I checked it, I didn't see no videos. I said, what the heck? And all that, I don't know what happened to the videos, except it should have been recording. This should have been recording it, except the video wasn't. There was no videos on it. And... Second part, well, I'll show you that in in a second. Okay, around these parts, nearby the Ruby Creek Tunnel, the curve goes through the cut on the Buckley Sub. Around these parts, the little Joe was a little cranky, and I didn't like this curve. I don't know why, except it liked the other trackage on the upper lines this this curve it didn't want to so the other locomotives I have didn't have any problems with this curve so oh I'm oh I know I think the little Joe was just a little cranky and the tracks are clean I checked that before I run my train so I don't know maybe it's the little Joe was little mad and I just don't know why so if it's got a mind of its own so, got that out of the way and I'll show you the, what I got in Neep from off eBay <laughs> yep oops Uh-huh. An old Mark. Mark Donovan. He likes Santa Fe Snoot Nose. Except that's not the only railroad they have have it in. So number thirty-four oh one. Um I get I grab the locomotive. Be right back. Here it is. Yeah, Union Pacific had these. Has a snoot nose. Yeah, it looks um looks pretty nice. Nice condition. It runs great. Except uh I noticed someone camera is not showing it pretty good okay so I painted the gray part more of a darker gray that's normal because they some Union Pacific locomotives didn't have that type of light gray so by glad that person did a smart thinking so, yeah, I think the handrails needs to be painted white. New, freshly painted white. And, um, uh, and also, I found out, when I was getting a good look at this,
sort of a, a color dots here. It probably who someone who had this. It probably was gonna be on someone's club's layout, except it never got a chance to, because I bet someone was gonna put a DCC decoder in it with sound, and probably that person never got a chance to do it. It's a Kato. It runs great. Really nice. The wheels. Well, someone took care of it. The wheels are clean. That's good. Except it's been used. Except it runs great. Except the trucks. I know certain UP locomotives. Um, when they come out out of the paint shop. Sometimes the trucks are painted silver. I don't mind it. So I could weather it. It was depends what I can do. So, so I got something to work with. Um, that's got to be a project I can do. Okay, I think I'm done with this, uh, this, uh, X, uh, Union Pacific, um, SD-40 Snoop Nose. Now, where, now, where they're it up pretty good. Now it's uh, Milwaukee Southern Railway Lines as their own 3401. <laughs> Not bad. Did a nice job. Of course, there's always soot or grime around the exhaust where it's been working a lot. And I had some fuel leakage um, when they were filling up with the fuel t with fuel in the tank with oil. By the looking at the phototype, uh, it didn't look like it had much weathering on the on the roof, except for where the exhaust is. Except on the side, showed some um, weathering on the side. Except no rust patches. Except I know on the trucks it collects dust and rust from the weather, wet weather. It collects on the on the plow and the trucks and the back end, of course, if, if it goes reverse. It's not bad. For Kato, smooth runner, and it's heavy. Pretty, pretty, it's heavy, all right. Well, now this locomotive. It's gonna be the next one's gonna be running on the layout. Stay tuned to see this see this thing in operation when it pulls a freight train. See you guys next time.